All right, picking back up where we left off. So this is episode number four of Trails from Zero. Looks like I'm stuck in a room here. This is Randy's room. I heard him moving some stuff around in there not too long ago, but he should still be up. Let's knock. Hmm, who's knocking? It's me, Lloyd. Can we talk for a bit? Oh, it's me, Lloyd. Can we talk for a bit? Sure, man, come on in. Make yourself at home. Cool, thanks. Let's have a little chit chat. Welcome to my humble abode. You all done unpacking your stuff already? Uh, no, not yet. It seems you've already made your decision, though, Randy. Oh, about whether or not I'm going to decline the assignment? Doesn't seem like there'll be too much desk work, so the job sounds like it's right up my alley. Having my home and workplace in the same building will be nice, too, so I'm planning to stick around and see how it all shakes out. Got it. You still thinking it over? I'd say I'm surprised. I doubt you'd be happy to see that detective license of yours go to waste after you busted your ass to get it, huh? Seriously. Ah, yeah, that's part of it. The whole thing just feels like a step backward from my goal, though. A goal? Uh, don't worry about it. It's nothing too important. That reminds me. How exactly were you we recruited in the first place, Randy? You're older than the rest of us, but you didn't attend the police academy, right? That's right. Uh, how I ended up being assigned here, huh? You really want to know? Uh, yeah, if you don't mind. Sharing, of course. Well, if you insist. Thing is, I got a bit in a trouble, a bit of trouble with the ladies at my last workplace. No surprise. Uh, what? Well, everyone found out I'd been, uh, dipping my quill in a few too many bottles of the company ink if you catch my drift. What a player. Just as I was about to get the boot, old man Sergei snatched me up. Guess it was all according to Idios' plan then, huh? My god. <laughs> uh, where'd you work before, Randy? Oh, right, the Crossbell Guardian Force. More specifically, I was stationed at Belgard Gate. You know, that fortress facing the Empire? Guardian Force? Well, that makes sense. No wonder you can swing that halberd of yours around like it's nothing. Trust me, when you're stationed that close to the border, there's absolutely nothing to do but train, patrol, and then train some more. But hey, the perk of working in Crossbell City full-time is that I can chill over in the ent entertainment district whenever I want. Whew. Definitely made the right choice leaving the CGF. Ha. Huh. Well, I can relate with wanting to live in the city. A man after my own heart. You know, I've already scoped out a couple of places with some absolute smoking cows working in them. <laughs> hey, if we do officially become co-workers, I say we hit the town and celebrate, eh? Madame Wat Ellie seems a bit too prim and proper, and kids don't belong where we'd go. We'll have ourselves a guy's night out. Ah, uh, sure, I'll think about it, Randy. He seems like a cool dude. Can I talk to him? Yes. You got how you feel, though. Probably tough to come up to a decision after everything we were told. How about taking the night small things over? Hey, if we do officially become co-workers, I say we hit the town and celebrate, eh? Aha, uh -huh, I'll consider it. Andy just wants to party. Must be a spare room. Well, no reason to mess with it now. Okay. Win this one. What up, boss? Chief Sergi, what up, kid? I'll repeat it for you. It's well within your power to decline your assignment to the SSS. If I did that, then the game would be over, so I guess we're not doing that. You already earned your detective qualification, so I imagine you'll just be reassigned to one of the investigative divisions. I recommend you spend tonight thinking it over. Yes, sir. Can't collect anything yet. I go out here? Is this a back entrance? Well, it's not like I need to go outside now anyway. Alright. Back up here. Who's this? I think this is the room Ellie was assigned. I hope she isn't asleep already. Uh, who is it? Oh, uh, it's me, Lloyd. Are you busy right now? I can come back later if so. Uh, no, you can come on in. The door should be unlocked. Alright, thanks. Walk right in there. Okay, I'm not sure why he had that reaction. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> Your timing's good. I just finished cleaning up. Would you like to take a seat? I'll brew some tea if you like. Oh, nice of her. Oh, no, you don't need to do all that. Seems like you've already made your decision, too. 
Oh, regarding my assignment here? To be honest, I was unsure at first, but I decided to give it my best shot. That's so? I can see you're still undecided. I don't blame you for that one bit. I can't help but feel the whole plan for this department is a bit of a reach. Hmm, how so? Based on what we were told, it was only created to help the government and the CPD save face, right? It lacks a basic guiding principle as a division, and its objectives and procedures are only loosely defined. Smart cookie. And if we're unable to produce results, the division is likely to be dissolved for budgetary reasons before long. Yeah, I can't help but draw the same conclusion. But if you already knew that, why stay, Ellie? You have some reason? Well, I thought it'd be a good way to see the truth for myself. Oh? Hee <laughs> hee, just kidding. Honestly, I doubt I'll stay a member of the police force forever. So it's not too big a deal if this position takes me off course from my intended career track. I guess that makes sense. If I recall correctly, you didn't attend the police academy, right, Ellie? So how did you end up with the CPD? Well, to put it simply, this is my way of getting some real-world experience. While I didn't attend the academy, I did take a written exam and marksmanship test when I applied. They couldn't really reject me since I received perp perfect marks on both tests. I knew she was smart. You know, the more I learn, the more I feel like we're worlds apart. You think so? It's pretty rare for rookies to have already earned their detective license, though. You must have your own reasons for joining the CPD, right, Lug? Well, that's... E. <laughs> Perhaps it'd be better to, uh, best to continue this talk after we've officially become co-workers. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Sorry, and thanks for being so considerate. First Lloyd. If you were to ask for my personal opinion, however, I'd be happier if you decided to stay. You would? Since we're rookies, there's a lot we can still improve on. But today, you showed that you could lead us through whatever unfair situations we might face. Your instructions were precise and quick, but I was able to confidently provide support. Haha, <laughs> that means a lot, Ellie, really. Thanks for talking with me. I think I'll go do a bit of self-reflection. Of course, anytime. Good night, Lloyd. Night, Ellie. Else? It was only our first day, but we sure were thrown right into it. I guess I'm a bit worn out. I'll probably turn in early once I'm done writing my diary. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Good night, Ellie. Next. I guess this should be Tio's room. He's probably already asleep, though. He was like a robot. No one home? Huh. Can't hear her moving around. Is she not in her room? It's locked. The spare room. A locked room. Okay. Go up another floor. Apparently. Onto the roof. Ooh. What a great view. Go so fans. And ten. Our spell's really grown. The city where Uncle lives was by no means small, but compared to this, it doesn't hold a candle. I'm finally home, aren't I? Cat. Huh? What up, kitty? Cat? If you live here, I imagine you've been a tenant way longer than the special support section has. Sorry about barging into your home like this. Don't worry, I won't be long. Talking to a stray cat. Making yourself right at home, aren't you? And again, you've probably lived here for quite some time. All right. Interesting. On here. Go outside now? Nope. Go to the basement. Whoa. There she is. Oh, Tio, there you are. What are you doing down here? Hello, Lloyd. As you can probably deduce, I am checking our terminal. The terminal? You mean all that stuff there? Yes. These are all components of an improved orbital terminal based on ZCF's Apple computer system. Apple. With this, we will be able to receive data and information from the CPD's main building via the orbital network. Huh? Uh, let's rewind a bit. You lost me. How should I explain this? Lloyd, what is the extent of your knowledge about the Orbital Network Project? 
global network. I occasionally see articles about it in the newspaper, but I can't say I fully understand what it is. There is so much conversation in this game. <laughs> I think I read something about the Epstein Foundation proposing the project. Originally, the Orbital Network project began as a collaboration between the Foundation and Zeiss Central Factory. It's the ZCF. Now it progresses primarily due to the efforts of the Epstein Foundation. Its large-scale testing stage is currently taking place right here in Crossbell City. This terminal is part of it. I can't say I follow that well. In the end, what's this project trying to accomplish? Ugh. Simply put, it is technology that improves upon traditional communication devices. In addition to having communication functions, it links terminals through orbital computing, constructing an efficient information network. That is, essentially, the project in terms you might understand. I, uh, barely understood any of that. <laughs> so basically, it's equipment that'll make contacting HQ easier and optimize the chain of command in the city. If you were only taking into account this terminal, you would not be incorrect. While terminals are only not my specialty, I can operate this one for us. Considering the future, I suppose I should become more acquainted with it. Oh? I take that to mean you didn't even think about refusing this assignment, huh, Tio? Huh? Actually, before that, when I was your age, all I wanted to do was play around with my friends. But you said you were transferred here from the Foundation. Uh, Tio, you aren't being forced to work here, right? <laughs> oh. What? Don't tell me you actually are. I admit I might not know your situation, but you shouldn't tolerate something like that. If you need help, I'd be more than happy to. Um, please calm down. No one is forcing me to work. Either this recent transfer was a result of a selfish request of mine. Huh? I have my own reasons for being in Crossbell. That is all there is to it. Besides, I think it would, it would be prudent to worry about yourself or others, right, Lloyd? <laughs> yeah. You make a good point, Tio. It's a little, uh, standoffish. Sorry if I overstepped my bounds there. It is fine. Being too soft-hearted might have a negative, uh, no, blah, blah, blah. Being too soft-hearted might have negative ramifications on your detective work, however. Unlike brazers, your occupation involves treating suspects with skepticism, right? Uh, you really don't pull any punches, do you? Doesn't like it is. Huh, maybe I am still naive. Maybe I was thinking I disciplined myself enough through the police academy's training. I guess training alone isn't enough to make me a true detective. Uh, yo. I've completed my maintenance of this terminal. <laughs> she really didn't do anything, just standing there talking to me the whole time. Construction work on the orbital cables is scheduled for tomorrow, so I believe I will go to sleep now. Okay. Night, Tio. Hope you sleep well. Thank you. If you will excuse me. Good night, Lloyd. He is all business. Seems like all three of them have really put a lot of thought into things. Here I am, still undecided. Get with the program, Lloyd. Man, I'm just thinking in circles now. This is getting me nowhere fast. Maybe some fresh air will do me some good. Anything over here? Like anything? Nope. Okay. Ah, what a nice breeze. Oh wow, that's right. I can see Belheim Apartments from up here. <laughs> I'm sure someone else is living in a role place now. I think Cecile's family is still in the building at least. I should pay them a visit once I find the time. It's been three years since then. After Uncle's family took me in, I eventually enrolled in the Crossbell Police Academy. I studied and trained like a madman. Thanks to that, I managed to pass the detective qualification exam. But in the end, what did I actually want to accomplish after becoming a detective? Hey! Oh, Tutu. We've been looking everywhere for you. We went to the police department, but they told us you weren't around. They told us about this place, though. This is it, right? Where the special support section works? Yeah, this is the place. What did you come all the way over here for? Well, actually, we thought we ought to thank you for today. Really? If you all hadn't been there, those monsters would have hurt us pretty bad. That's why we came to thank you. 
Wow, I, uh, thanks you two, that really means a lot. Uh, don't forget, you guys are nothing compared to Arios. But you know, compared to the rest of the CPD, I guess you're not so bad. You just gotta make sure you work hard to catch up to him, okay? Come on, Ryu. We came to thank him, why are you trying to lecture him? <laughs> He's right, though. We will have to work as hard as we can. By the way, where do you two live? I can escort you guys home if you want. Oh, no worries. West Street is right over there, so I'm good. I live in the residential district, but I should be fine. But, um, could you tell Ellie and the others what we, that we stopped by to? Sure, I'll let them know. Be safe on your way back, okay? We will. I know this is, like, suddenly super itchy. Bye. Oh, man. You really are a simple guy, Lloyd Bannings. All it took to lift your spirits was a thank you from those kids. I guess in the end, everything depends on the way I choose to feel about it. Word of advice, Lloyd. Be a man, you have to be willing to tackle the issues you're facing head on. Follow your heart and intuition and grasp the truth with your own two hands. If you can do that, you'll be able to see what exactly it is that you want to do. Yeah, that's right. If I don't at least put myself out there, I won't come to understand anything. Huh? A phone call? When's the last time you heard a phone ring like that? That was more like an alarm. Hello? You've reached the Crossbell Police Department Special Support Section. Lloyd, is that you? What? Cecile? Ah, oh, thank goodness. Is it really you? It's really you. When I contacted the police department, they told me to call this number. Special support section, was it? Is that the division you're assigned to? Ah, well, nothing's official yet. More importantly, I'm really sorry, Cecile. I was meaning to stop by first thing, but... Oh, no, don't worry about it. I should have gone to greet you when you arrived at the station. Please, it's fine, Cecile, I promise. After all, work has you busy, right? You can meet up once you're able to get some time off. Oh, don't be like that. How can you be so distant to someone who's practically your sister? I haven't seen you in three years, you know? All right, all right. We'll find a way to make up, uh, make time somehow. And I'll make sure to go see Uncle Miles and Aunt Light tomorrow, too. Glad to hear it. I love that. Mom and Dad have really been worried about you all this time. But I'm so happy. You finally come back to Crossbell. Yeah. I'm home, Cecile. Welcome home, Lloyd. I know I'm getting antsy to just get this game going. Very long introduction area. What are your answers? No objections here. Looking forward to working with you. Besides, you're the one who dragged me to the CPD in the first place. Yeah. You don't want me to recommend you to First Division? You'd probably really benefit from someone with your combat prowess. Yeah, I'll pass. Honestly, I'd rather join back up with the Guardian Force than be stuck in some stuffy office job like that. Fair enough. What about you, Ellie? I will also accept the position. I'm glad to be working with you, Chief Sergei. Glad to hear, and to be frank, I didn't expect someone like you to be here. I figured the higher-ups recommended you expecting this division to just involve taking care of busy work. But I'm sure you're aware that this assignment won't be anywhere near, as e near easy, right? Yes, well aware, sir. I'm looking forward to taking on such challenging work. Good answer. Well, Tio, do I even need to ask? Not at all. This position was part of the agreement from the start. More importantly, the orbital cables are scheduled to be wired this evening. I would like to be the one to set up the terminals, if you don't mind. Yeah, I was counting on it. So, three down, one to go. Lloyd Bannings. It's me. A Crossbell Police Academy graduate who earned high marks in both written exams and practical training. And then went on to ace the CPD's detective exam. If you ask me, he might be a bit overqualified for this team. Someone like you'd find success in whatever division you were assigned to, I'm sure. Hell, I bet no one here would blame you if you walked right out that door. With that in mind, still have any lingering doubts? No, well, sir, not at all. I look forward to working on you, Chief Sergey. Glad to hear. Lloyd. Uh, well, that's no fun. Here I was, looking forward to watching you squirm around, trying to come to a decision. Uh, sir? Well, that settles that. I'll give you guys the rest of the day off. Nice. Keep in mind, you'll be busy as hell starting tomorrow, though. Be prepared to work your asses off. Oh, and Tio, the terminal's all yours. Roger. Oh, one more thing. Let's start this off right, Lord Bannings. Sir. 
Billy McDowell. Hi. Randy, Randy Orlando. What's up? Tio Plato. Tio Plato. Hi. As of 9 a.m. today, I officially approve your new assignments. Welcome to the special support section. Look forward to the mountain of different jobs I'll be throwing at you. All right, let's get this party started. As initial, uh, as initial investigation expenses, the team receives a thousand mira. Yay, money. Go spend it. Our beloved goddess Ideos, who art in the sky, we beseech thee, open thine heavenly gates for the soul running toward your loving embrace. What in the world? Couldn't believe the news when I first heard it. Someone like him, passing this young? Wasn't he about to get married to that beautiful fiancé of his, too? Why do things end up like this? Why? Damn it all. What the hell are the police doing? One of their own was killed. Are they going to let this become another unsolved case? It's horrible. Absolutely horrible. I remember right. His parents passed away a while ago, too, didn't they? How will his younger brother handle all this? Lloyd, are you okay? Please, don't push yourself. I know you haven't been sleeping much recently. I could say the same for you, Cecile. I'm sorry I had to help me with so much of this. I should have taken care of it myself. Stop that, Lloyd. We're basically family. Of course I'm going to help you. Besides, Guy was my... 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 Cecile. I'm so, so sorry, Lloyd. I know that you're hurting the most out of all of us. I'm sure things won't be easy from now on, but please don't forget that I'm here for you. Until you can stand on your own two feet, I'll watch over you, Lloyd. That was nice of her. Huh, I really was a brat, wasn't I? I shouldn't have been so stubborn. I should have stayed with her. I'm home, guy. Sorry for not stopping by sooner. I guess I still need to work on my stubbornness. But I'm here now. I'm back. I came back to Crossbell to be a detective in the CPD, same as you. Still got a long way to go to catch up to you, and I was assigned to this weird division. But I'm gonna do my best with the hand I've been dealt, so keep watching over me, guy. Well, time to get started on your first official job at the SSS. So it's been over 20 minutes now, and I've done nothing but have conversations. <laughs> this game is nuts. Though so maybe I should give you some more information before we get ahead of ourselves. Floyd, grab your detective notebook. Yes, sir. Black notebook with the police crest, eh? Looks like the real deal. We can also use this to identify ourselves as police officers, right? That's right. There's also a manual with the rules and regulations inside. Heck, it's even getting from more about your battle orbit. It's a pretty good reference to have. However, its most important purpose is to keep track of your investigation reports. Investigation reports? Lloyd, you explain. Yes, sir. They taught this at the police academy. I suppose the others wouldn't know. The CPD maintains a rule that all of its investigations are to be carefully and thoroughly documented. After an investigation is assigned to you, you must record its status and keep track of its progress in the detective notebook. The reports we submit will be based on notebook entries, which will inform our evaluations and any special allowances from the department. That's why it's important to take detailed and concise notes. I see, that makes enough sense. Ah, uh, sounds boring as hell, that ain't what I signed up for. That's the gist of it. However, the situation at the SSS is slightly different from other divisions. You'll have your standard investigations, of course, but then you'll also have requests, support requests coming in. Support requests? To you, if you will. Hi. Sir. Over here, everyone. They walk real slow. Oh, this is from the other day. Oh, that's why I have high speed tomorrow. Okay. Isn't this the terminal that you were busy hooking up to the Oval Network to you? Yes, I finished configuring it yesterday. The terminal will be left running and can be accessed at any time. After you log on, this screen will display. Oh, a bunch of text showed up. Genius there, Randy. So this is where we'll get our support requests? Right. Aside from official missions from the department, we'll also get requests from other sources. It could be from citizens or tourists. Heck, we might even get jobs from the government every now and then. Support requests are optional, but if you decide to skip some, odds are that the Brazer Guild will snatch them up. Oh. Ah, I see how it is. By doing support requests, we'll take some of the guild's popularity for ourselves. These support requests will mimic their own line of work to sway public favor. 
Yep, no expect it'll happen at a snail's pace. Besides that, I'm, s I'm sure HQ will rope you in to help when they get busy. Patrolling the city, doing some menial paperwork, who knows? You're kidding, right? Aha, it's all part of the job, Randy. Has the terminal already started receiving these requests, then? Why don't you take a look for yourselves? Just don't forget to keep track of them in your notebook. Yes, sir. Hey, those support requests aren't going to take care of themselves. You'll be able to get the info you need from that terminal over there. Go to the terminal. Check requests. Support request explanation. Salary, 15,000 mirror. 1,500 mirror. This is from Crossbow Police Reception Desk. Hello, everyone. Congratulations on being appointed to the new special support section. As a first order of business, allow me to give you a rundown on submitting reports for all of your assignments. Please come by the reception desk at the CPD. Sorry to trouble you. Rebecca, reception desk. Okay. I did the thing. Request, support request explanation started. So this whole thing is just a big internal memo system? Huh. I guess now we just gotta head down to HQ and get the details, right? Yeah, sounds like it. I think I'm finally starting to get a grasp on what the Orbital Network is all about. Unlike telephones, which are purely auditory, the Orbital Network can, can tr transmit text and images. I've heard about it before, but now that I've seen it in practice, I can certainly see how it would be advantageous in all sorts of situations. Yes, as we speak, beta testing is being conducted throughout Crossbell State. This system the police department has implemented is one such example. Though I hear the guild has started experimenting with terminal systems too. That should be enough to get you started. I better let you guys work this. Uh, court request just came in. Understood. But uh, what do we do after that? I'd love to say, do whatever you feel like, but you can bet that the real request will start pouring in after your lecture at HQ is over. Let's see. Considering this is your first assignment, try completing this as a statement to HQ saying that you're capable of police work. I should shut them up for a while. <laughs> is that really all it's going to take? <laughs> Oh, and Lloyd, why don't you give everyone a tour of the city on the way there, on your way there? Tour of the city? Why? You'll be the ones protecting the place, so it only makes sense for you all to learn just what kind of place it is. Oh, and be sure to stop by the weapon shop and orbital store right outside. As police officers, those places would be pretty handy in the future. Understood. We'll make sure to pay them a visit. I'll be in my office most of the time, probably either reading a magazine or taking a nap. If you run into any problems, don't bother me. You're smart kids, figure it out yourselves. <laughs> It's like a deadbeat. Well then, off you go. Wait, wait a minute. Here goes our boss, everyone. Uh, are we really going to be okay? I fear the road ahead of us will be difficult. Uh, anyway, this is our first real assignment. Let's walk around the city a bit first and then take care of that support request. There's no need to rush just because this is our first official mission. Let's just take our time and get a feel for things. I agree. Understood? I'm hit the road then. When you inspect the terminal at the SSS and choose check requests, a list of available support requests is displayed. The support requests are completely optional, but completing them earns you Mira and DP. Okay. I am gonna stop this video here because we're almost at um, half an hour in. I know that one was non stop, just dialogue, but it seems like as good a stopping point as any. So we'll uh, pick it up in the next one and hopefully there'll be more action involved. Alright. See you guys in a bit.